Hi, Peter Brock here. Um, I've had uh, quite a history with uh, Shelby American and Carol Shelby. And uh, one of the things I'd like to tell you about is that uh, every year back in the, uh, in the Denver area, the uh, Shelby American Museum uh, has an annual show on it and they put out these beautiful, beautiful posters called the Shelby American Collection, which we distribute here and uh, they're available. And one of the nicest things I like about this particular shot on the Daytona Coupe is what really, really shows the lines on the car. And uh, it's one of my favorites on it because it was such a, uh, a, a really classic look for that era. So that uh, if you understand any of the history on Shelby American or you want to know more about it, um, this particular series of photographs will tell you more about it than you can, than you can understand. Uh, it's uh, probably most interesting because, of course, we started with the, uh, with the 289 Roadsters. And this is actually Ken Miles' car here. Uh, and the reason that the Daytonas were so successful is that we ran these cars for two years and got them fully developed. So when I did the body on the Daytona, it was simply a matter of putting it on a well-developed chassis, and it went on, of course, uh, to win the world championship in, uh, in 1965. But these cars, of course, uh, won the SCCA's uh, manufacturer's championship in 1963. So later on, as uh, we got better over at Shelby and, and Ford came in, um, we did the, uh, the GT350s, which is another program that I got to work on in developing all of the uh, all of the graphics on the car, of course, on the twil twin stripes and stuff. All of that was the, the work that I did for, for Shelby American on that. And then later, uh, of course, uh, CarCraft came in and working with Bill Remington and uh, the development of Shelby American, we did the whole development on the whole GT program. Uh, on the Ford GTs, right from the GT40s up through the Mark IIs and the Mark IVs, uh, to win finally in 1966 at Le Mans. So, if you want a great, great set of uh, of Shelby and Ford history, this is probably it. And uh, I think that you really enjoy it. Now, what I can say, these things really frame up beautifully. Uh, look great in the house. Look great in the garage. So, try them out. Whatever your favorites are.